ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Out to short. Fires to first on the run. One up, one down. Oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next to hit, takes ball one. And there's a ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Got it by him for the K. That is good. The white field. Here's Mike Trout. Wow. Brings it in for the third out. Second inning set to go. Here's Matt Chapman. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Now well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. That one off the mark, and the count one and two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Here's a speed threat, Ozzy Smith. In there, and it's 0-1. There are hitters you love to watch hit, pitchers you love to watch pitch, but with Ozzy Smith, he was a player you love to watch field his position, a shortstop virtuoso. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The great thing about Ozzy in the field was that he could make any play he needed to. Diving stops, jump throws, cross body throws. He goes down looking. Torrey Hunter will hit next. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. And here it comes. Swings through it for the K. Some high cheese. Bottom half of inning number two. And here's the first baseman, Lou Gehrig. That pitch in for a strike. Strike one. And that's downstairs and outside. The 1-1. One -one. And a swing and a miss. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuck a little bit. That's to third. Slings it across. That's one out the bottom of the second. So digging in, Dory Hunter. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Now one and one. That one laced to center and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. 110 miles per hour, and man, that exit velocity. Not every hitter is capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat, no matter how hard they swing. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Bryant moves under it. Squeezes it. Two away. Trey Turner with a chance now. Bounce to third, and that one finds its way through. Lead runner around second. Throw into third, save! 
Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Oh. Kicks and fires. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. No score here in the second. Next pitch is outside. And the count is two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. Three and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. You know, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Oh. This to center field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, on to the third inning. Here's the power-hitting catcher, Gary Carter. The pitch. Foul ball there. And the right-hander deals. Strike two. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. And one and two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. One, two now. That one missed. It's a good take. Two ball, two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. So up next, Chipper Jones. First offering, misses the mark. Top of the third, no score. Pitch misses there, ball two. Good eye right there. Fouls one away and now three and two. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. Froze him with the heater at the knees. So the batting order turns over. Trey Turner now at the plate. And the first Hold offering on. is not close. Turner in his seventh season hitting leadoff in today's game. Usually a shortstop, but today he's starting at second base. Hunter makes the catch inning over. Welcome back. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Pineda back to work. Marte. Swing and a miss as he was out front. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. They get the out on Marte. So the lineup flips over. And now Ricky Henderson. Going one. A little bit low. The wide to kick the pitch. Just missed. Two balls, one strike. And it's fouled away. Oh, man. I'm almost done. Smith whips it to first. Two up, two down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeover. Got that hitter to roll over. And that one wrapped foul. You know, it's no surprise that Jazz Chisholm Jr. is good at baseball. His grandmother, Patricia Coakley, actually played shortstop for the Bahamian National Softball Team. And get this, she didn't retire until her second. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. 
and welcome back. Down the number two hitter, Kyle Tucker. Yeah, the right hitter back to work. All one there. You know, this group of hitters just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Next offering upstairs. And now two and two. Just off the outside edge. No, oh, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. To first, and Tucker is retired. Oh, well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Bryant swings through that one oh, as he comes to the plate for the second time today. And a swing and a miss there. Here's the 0-2. Nope. And that just misses. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Struck him out looking. So two down now, and here is Munitaka Murakami. Went down on strikes his first time through. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And he swings and misses oh, at the down. initial offering. And it's quickly nothing oh, and two right. on the designated hitter. And he'll two. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Battling here as he fouls it away. Gibson checks the runner, oh, and he right. dives back in safely. Murakami off of first with two away. Runner, Here's the runner. pitch. Runner goes again. Swing and a miss. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the right fielder, Mike Trout. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. Mike Trout, just a special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. Next one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. I think with Mike Trout, when you consider all the awards, the wins above replacement, he's on a trajectory if he stays healthy, that he'll end up as one of the greatest position players of all time. Smith over to first in time. One out in the bottom of the four. He swings and fouls one off. Now the 0-1. And yeah, that's too high. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything came together for him. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Bounced up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Lead runner makes the turn at second. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Line drive, base hit. Here comes Gary. He scores on the board first. It's one zip. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Here's Turner now. 
lifted in the air right field and they get Turner for the out and that is that ready now for the fifth inning and now the shortstop Ozzy Smith the pitch bunch attempt but that goes foul you know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind if he can get on it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about liner to second and picked on the hop not in time great effort but it's an infield hit here's some real power at the plate Tory Hunter three pitch strikeout last time up got to put up more of a fight in this one and look out what? as that one ran in and got him fastball high and tight right there a scary combo I'll tell you what everyone in the stadium looked like they felt like they needed to jump out of the way I know I moved trying to move the runners over and he handles it himself for the out and here is Chipper Jones he's all for one infield comes in now that misses and that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. One down, runners at second and third. Ball Next two. offering upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. On the ground. In time to Gehrig. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Turner swings through it for strike one. Hunter at third with two away. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Out towards right center field. He's got it, and that will end the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Well, these guys doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Next offering is down low. The next pitch misses two and one. Righty to the plate. Oh, a big oh, swing and a miss. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Here's the 2 2. In the air, left field. And that will fall. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it, just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. At the belt and fires. That one is absolutely belted. Hunter on a dead sprint, racing back, looking up, pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Henderson in the box now. Takes strike one. Tucker really on his horse for it. Calls it in to a 
Jazz Chisholm Jr. now, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work. Right there. Oh, this ball's down, and that could bring in a run. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2-1. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I missed that. Back here at the ballpark. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Count one and oh. Right side, hard hit. Marte throws the first in time. And Tucker is retired. Here's Chris Bryant now. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Bryant goes 6 feet 5 inches, 24 years old. And he's usually a third baseman, but today starting in the outfield. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, this probably feels like a day off a little bit, going from that hot corner where you've got to be on your toes every single pitch. To be able to relax a little bit and have more time to react in the outfield. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Lifted in the air, right center field. Trout is there. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Well, we go bottom six, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Tory Hunter. The pitch. And that one off the outside edge. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Falling behind two and one. Now fly ball to right center. Tucker really on his horse for it. But it's the center fielder who gets there. And there's one down. And now it's Frankie Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. That one fouled off. Yeah, we go beyond just the uh, you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Turner in the box again, takes a strike. Well, and at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Now a screamer into the outfield. Bryant pulls that one down, and that is that. Welcome back, and here is Matt Chapman. Gibson back to work. 
A bit behind oh, with that man. swing. It's strike one. Out to short. Lindor on the run. Sends it over to first. Oh. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. So now digging in, Ozzy Smith. The other way, knocks it down. One down. Here's the center fielder, Tory Hunter. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Here's your one. Good eye in that spot. Smith, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. And now two and one. Swings through that one. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out. There goes Ozzy. Pitch misses. Throw save. That's a stolen base. In the air, out towards right center. Trout settles under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags up for third, but just bluffing there. Hangs on at second with two away now. <laughs> on the mound now, number 78. But I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead. Rudder breaks for third. Pitch misses in. Out to third. And that ends the inning. Well, one run game. Stepping in, Jonah Heim. One for two. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Gets him to chase after that one. This looks like extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. You don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Here's Cattell Marte. And there's the strike. Runner at second, nobody out. That's down and in. Swung on, belted. That one back. And that ball is gone. Patel Marte leaves the yard. And they boost their lead. It's 4-1. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. In there for strike one. Williams, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Chisholm at the plate now. That's ball one. Hard ground ball base knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. One for three.
unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Lou Gehrig, the next to hit. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. And he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow it makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. Next offering is in for a strike. The 0 2. Oh, the swing and a miss. Two out. Oh, man, and amazing. now the center fielder, Tory Hunter. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. And first offering is fouled off. Right. Henderson on second. Chisholm on at first with two down. Now both runners break early. Pro save! Right hander kicks deals. Uh -huh. Damn. Brings it in. That is the inning. So and welcome back. And here's the catcher, Gary Carter. Well, it's critical right here that they pair down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Oh, Swing one. and a miss. That's strike one. Swings over the top of that one. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Now, Chipper Jones. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Here comes the one and ball one and i think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed it makes the whole team that much better and a one two on the ground right side sends it to first and they get the out on jones no he didn't recognize change up earlier enough got out in front a little bit rolled over on it and beat it into the ground fun attempt Popped up, makes the grab, and that ends the inning. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now here is Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor. And a pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. And it's even up. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. The pitch. This one in the air right field. Tucker calls it in, and there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back there. And that one is out of here. Drake Turner goes the opposite way. And they add a run. It's 5-1. Next to hit, Jonah Heim. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Short hop liner handled it short. Fires to first, and that is out number two. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one with that. Marte stands in here, takes ball one low. And a foul ball. And 
and a foul ball. Out towards right center field. Tucker should have it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Back here at the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Kyle Tucker. The right fielder, Kyle Tucker. And a pitch. That one misses. One and oh. He's a guy with a big time fastball. Lots of velocity. But I think the thing that's most impressive is that he commands it so well. As a hitter, when you step in the box against him, you better be ready to swing it because it's coming, it's coming hot, and it's going to be in the zone. Next pitch has popped up. Puts it away for the out. Now the left fielder, Chris Bryant. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Next offering is foul back. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now the first baseman, Munitaka Murakami. And fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Is the ball game five one is how it ends for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Shambi thanks for joining us
here's a big power threat. Ricky Henderson. And here it comes. Bounce to the left side. Throw on to Freeman. Oh. One out in the top of the first. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. And that's in there for strike one. Lined, and that's a base hit. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Left field. Peterson makes the grab. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. To say Bob Gibson's season in 1968 was outstanding is an understatement. His ERA that year was 1.12. That's so dominant, it doesn't even seem possible. The 1-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Gibson won the Triple Crown that year in the National League. He was just absolutely... And he can't come up with it. Flips it behind his back to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. First and second, two down. Torrey Hunter getting ready to hit. Foul ball. Depending on who you ask, Gibson either gets the blame or the credit for Major League Baseball lowering the mound after that 1968 season. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the catch. And that is the... We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Wander Franco. The second baseman. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And strike two. Oh, two the count. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. JT Real Muto steps in. Swings through that one. Oh, one, oh, and one. JT Real Muto singing has turned into arguably the top catcher in all of baseball. He's won multiple gold gloves, multiple oh, silver sluggers, man. same story, multiple times an all-star. This guy is fun to watch. They say he won. A tremendous athlete behind the dish, and this is a guy that probably could play any position on the infield if they needed to, as well as the outfield. He's got great speed as a got? catcher, can steal some bases, oh, can drive in runs. But most importantly, he takes that pitching staff where they need to go. Next pitch is inside, and now it's three and two. In the air, out towards left center. Hunter makes the grab, and there's two gone. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Chipper Jones stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball to strike. Two outs. That's a ball. Pitch misses, three balls and a strike. Three balls, one strike. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And Jack Peterson stands in. Count one and that oh. missed inside. Ball one. Jones, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Got 
got him swinging. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. And that one fouled off. Singy, where are you on F1 racing? Are you a fan? Haven't gotten there yet, but I will at some point. Francisco Lindor, a big fan of F1 racing. His favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. Goes down looking. Trey Turner now. First pitch, not close. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. The 2 1. And that one fouled off. Second inning here, no score. That's the third. Arenado to first, in time. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Here's the catcher to hit, Jonah Heim. This one in the air, center field. And that'll do it. And welcome back. Now the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Mad Bum, back to work. Swing and a miss. Ugly one one. swing right there. Chris, it's pretty crazy to think that Nolan Arenado shared an entire side of the infield with a future Platinum Glove Award winner in Matt Chapman. They both were on the same team in high school at El Toro High School. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. Out of here. Nolan Arenado goes deep, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. They say it went. The punch out there, one gone here. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Ken Griffey Jr. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. Cattel Marte up to the plate. And the pitch. That one drifts inside. Marte goes six foot one, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. And another ball. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. <clears throat> Just kept it simple. Now Played back. Pepper with the middle Let of the infield and Ricky. took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Foul ball there. And the righty deals. That one at triple digits. Going to count one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a perp. Zips it to first. And one away in the top of the third. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. 
Chisholm at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. Out towards left center. Peterson really on his horse for this one. Puts it away for the out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Trout now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Next offering misses. And one and one. Well, Singy, Mike Trout, the resume speaks for itself. A guy that's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star Game MVPs, a rookie of the year. I mean, he's going to go down as one of the best position players ever. That leaves him without a throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. And here's the first baseman, Lou Gehrig. There's the strike. Marte, the runner at third. Trout at first, two out of the inning. Right field, down the line, and that one slices foul. The 0-2. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The next offering misses, and the count is one and two. <gasps> Tosses the first, out number three. Damn. Welcome back, set for the bottom of the third. Anthony Santander at the plate. Bumgarner, back to work. That's in for a strike. All one for count. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that one is gone. Anthony Santander knocks one out. And they add to the lead. It's 2-0. Now batting Wander Franco. And first offering is fouled off. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. On the ground to the left. Lindor on to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. And a foul ball. Real Muto was an outstanding high school quarterback was signed to go play quarterback at Oklahoma State, but when he was scouted in high go. school, he was mainly a shortstop. Marlon scouts decided after seeing him catch one time that if they drafted him, they would convert him to catcher. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. He was all over that one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And here is Chipper Jones. Nope. That's First ball. pitch doesn't find the zone. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. And now Jack Peterson. And he swings and misses oh, at the initial offering. Oh, just missed. Real Muto on third. Jones at second with one away. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's already homered here in this one. Camilo Doval on a pitch out of the pen here. He has a great slider with tons of movement. To the right side. That ends the inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Tory Hunter. He's 0 for 1. Tory. The pitch. Going on. You know, this group of hitters, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. 
Got it by him for the K. Here's Francisco Lindor. Caught looking his first time up. In there, and it's 0-1. And the right-hander deals. And that's in the dirt. And a 1-2. In the air, right field. And it's caught for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Turner at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. You're up there at the plate. You got to look up. The swing in a minute. Ready to go. Bottom four. Leading off, Francisco Lindor. First pitch swinging. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the heading zone, hard to get the barrel to it. In time to Gehrig. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. That one ripped left field. Henderson going back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Struck out swinging his first time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Chris, how about Freddie Freeman and the career that he has delivered? He's turned into one of the better all around hitters and a really good defender at first base. Line drive. And Freeman is retired. And that'll do it. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Only two now. Here's a high chopper. Throw on to Freeman, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is gone. Could tell Marte goes deep, and they inch closer. It's 2-1. And now, Ricky Henderson. Swing and a miss, strike one. And it's one and one. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Bronco makes the play, and there's two down. Jazz Chisholm Jr. will hit next. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Left-hand hitter waits. That's out to center field. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder. Anthony Santander. The right-hander back to work. That one pulled foul. Whoa. Alex Young oh, taking over on the mound. Cool. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy yeah. to keep him within striking distance. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2.
bounced out to short. Lindor on the first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Back to the top of the lineup. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Wander Franco. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a good eye there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. One and two here. And now two and two. It's a good take. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Check swing, but he went too oh, far. One. That's strike one. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. In time to Gehrig. And Real Muto is back here at the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the power speed combo. Mike Trout. Trout measures six feet two inches, two hundred and thirty five pounds, and he's usually in center, but today starting in right. The O one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Well, less responsibility for him today, making the move from being the captain of the outfield to move in the right field. So he can let his center fielder take those balls in the gap and kind of like a little day off. Garrick, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. And there's a foul ball. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. That one ripped. That's back. Banks off the wall. Over to third, but the throw's offline. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way, but... Well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep. And, and that's a base hit. Runner from third into score. And now they trail by one. Picks himself up in RBI. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he made it out front for the line drive knock. Here's Trey Turner. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Swings through that one for strike two. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. Oh, ah, oh, threw it by him. Damn it. Welcome back. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Chipper Jones. The pitch. Well, these guys just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Hauls it in for the out. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. That's towards center. And a couple of quick outs. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's already homered in this game. Time called as the pitching coach makes a visit to the mound. 
One reliever still getting loose out the pen. A new arm into the game, the righty, Devin Williams. He's into the game with the bases empty. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. That one the other way. Marte gathers and throws to first. And they get Arenado for the out. Inning over. And welcome back. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. The catcher, Jonah Heim. The pitch. Late with the swing there. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next pitch is outside. Righty to the plate. This one lifted in the air, left field. Peterson makes the grab. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. Cattell Marte leaves the yard. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-2. So up next, Ricky Henderson. ready to hit right there timing on the swing was good able to shoot the ball up the middle didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked but that's a good approach paying off and now it's going to be jazz chisholm jr and there's the strike 101 on the gun swing and a miss swings through it and that's a strikeout here's trout Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he could turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. you won. And that one is inside. And now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Henderson leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is fouled back. He's going, he's Ricky going. runs. Oh, Swing and a miss. Oh. Bottom of the seventh. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. The pitch. Strike one. Oh, and one. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. And a pitch. And a count one and two. The tying run at the plate. Good job to fight that one off. And a one-two again. Got him! And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Next to hit, Ken Griffey Jr. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. Gregory Soto takes over on the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. 
Out towards right center. That's well struck. Way back there. Oh! Ready Freeman bops one out of here. And we're level. It's 3-3. Three, three. Now it's going to be Anthony Santander. It's through for a hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Wander Franco digs in now. A switch hitter batting right. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Check swing. Went around. And that is strike two. At the belt and fires. Base hit. And that moves the go-ahead run to scoring position with two gone. And now it is JT Real Muto. One for three. And now we'll get a mound visit from the pitching coach. Probably trying to give a little more time for that arm out in the bullpen to get warmed up. New pitcher on here, Lee Smith. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. That one is absolutely belted. That's got a chance. To the warning track, makes the catch. So here's the cleanup hitter, Lou Gehrig. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Hit hard on the ground to short. Whips it to first on the run. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Tory Hunter. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Rafael Devers. Looking to start something with one gone. The 1-0. -oh. And it's fouled away. Kicks and deals. And he dodges that fastball. Straighten him up a little bit. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. And a pitch. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. And Devers is set down. And now it's Frankie Lindor. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Off the plate inside. And now it's even one and one. That one missed. Next offering is fouled back. And the 2 2. And there's a ball. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a strikeout. Bottom of the eighth. And now the DH, Chipper Jones. And here it comes. 
That's a little bit low. In for a strike, and it's one and one. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And a pitch. That one lifted to left. Bench makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's Jack Peterson. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Peterson swings, mashes one deep to right. Trap on the move, racing back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Heim in position. He makes the grab, and that is that. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth. Trey Turner at the plate. Doval back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Up and in. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Right. On the ground, right side, Bronco. Bad swing. In plenty of time to first, and that quickly, no, two man. away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. They get the out on Marte. And that is that. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And the batter will be the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball left side. And it goes just foul. And there's a hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there, stepping up to the challenge. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride low, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Andrew Chafin enters the game. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Swing and a miss. One and two. And down on strikes he goes. One away. So digging in. Freddie Freeman outfield deep here trying to prevent anything over their heads Going one. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground He gets swings and misses Going two now and that one lifted in the air, center field. Henderson moves under it. Squeezes it. And there's two away. 
Now it's the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. First pitch, just misses. And now the lefty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. Check swing, now a look down to first. Ah, and he punches him out, he went around. Welcome back. And now the center fielder, Ricky Henderson. The center fielder, Ricky. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning. And that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error. And Boog, to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning. But for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. Throw on to Freeman, one away in the top half of the 10. Here's the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. One, one out, the go-ahead run is at second. Squirts away a little bit, nice job behind the plate there. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that, but... Ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Here comes a pitch. And just misses with that one. Lindor tags the runner. Over to first, safe. And now batting, Mike Trout. There's a strike. All ones count. And misses inside. So now one and two. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Next offering is fouled back. Fastball almost got him there. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up. Rudder goes again. Next pitch has popped up. He's under it. He's got it. And the inning is over. And welcome back. Digging in, Wander Franco. You know, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And Ricky Henderson to grab. JT Real Muto now at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one hit to right. Trout makes the grab. Out number two. Next is the DH. A switch hitter, Chipper Jones. Ryan Presley on the pitch here. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Ripped on the ground a second. Arte throws the first in time. Go ahead, run on base. And now the first baseman, Lou Gehrig. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Come back to the mound. And he'll be safe at first. So runners at the corners, 
nobody out. Here's the left fielder, Johnny Bench. Entered the game on defense, so this is his first trip to the plate in this one. Your attention, please. Now, go ahead. Oh, Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Munitaka Murakami. Big spot for him here. Hammered on the line, base hit. In comes the run from third. It's 4-3. Raleigh gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Love how he just kept it simple there. Didn't come out of his mechanics. To second, but way too late, safe there. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way we're... Save! Yeah, fuck you, man. And now, Francisco Lindor. That's a ball. Ball one there. All right, singing, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. Junior puts it away, one down. Trey Turner with a chance now. Swings and misses. Slider right there. And that one missing low. Ball and a strike. And now one and two. Garrett over at second. Murakami over at first. So one away. Next pitch has popped up. Jonah Heim getting ready to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. This to third, and that one handled. Inning ends, and that stops the bleed. Damn. All set for the bottom of the 11th. Now the left fielder, Jack Peterson. The pitch. Grounder off the pitcher. In time to Gehrig. One up, one down. Now the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And that one upstairs. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Right-hander kicks, deals. Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. And he grounds one to the right side. Marte tosses the first. Got him for out number two, but the run scores. And we are tied. And yeah, the batter now, Francisco Lindor. And that one wrapped foul. Two down, nobody on. Fouled off left side. The 0 2. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And that should be extra bases. Well, here we go. Winning run is on base with two away. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep. And I'm not sure if that was a factor there or oh, not. But count. off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out. And it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss struck him out. Damn. 
back here at the ballpark. We're in extras here. Here's Cattell Marte. The pitch. Swung on, belted. Let's go. Back there. Off the batter's eye and gone. That's his third home run of the game. And they take the lead. It's 6-4. Now here is Ricky Henderson. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Now he turns and heads for second. Tag, but he's in there. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice yeah. job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Pickoff moved to second. Ricky dives back in. No outs. Runner on second. And he hits a ground ball right side. That's it out. Here's Mike Trout. Now, part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Oh, and one now. On the ground. And that's a fair ball. In comes the run from third to add on. And they lead by three. And into second with one away. That's a double. Well done. Drives in the run. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't fooled at all. Lou Gehrig will hit next. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And that one is inside ball one. Next pitch misses way outside. Fouled off. He was late. Oh, man. The next pitch misses. And a full count now. Trout, the runner at second with one away. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So two down now, and here is Munitaka Murakami. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Next offering is foul back. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. It's in the dirt. Real mutual throws, not in time. It's a stolen base. Bounce to the right side. Man, that Franco on to first. That ends the first. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, Freddie Freeman. Back here at extras and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning, Mark Pryor. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. That was a moonshot. His second home run of the game, and they slice into the lead. It's 7-6. And now here is Anthony Santander. And a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And he makes the grab. And there's one down. Now the number two hitter, JT Real Muto. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. You're addicted, please. Big hitter. On the ground to first, could be two. Lindor, that's one. Double play cuts the rally short, and that ends the ball game. One run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. For the home team, six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 33 minutes. Thank you.
see what? You waving? No. What? That person? What? <laughs> Why do you keep saying something and walking away? What did you say? Just go through my list and like. All right. Well. Unlike it.
What's up, Show Nation? This is Chris Singleton, and welcome to the show. Stepping in the long ball threat, Leading Ricky Henderson. Jersey, the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's how this game gets started. And a pitch. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. First pitch yep, just misses. Javier, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's Two earned balls. a longer One leash, point. and because of that, <clears throat> confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little hey. rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Mike Trout. And there's a strike. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? 
I think it's very oh, much being able right. to have a laser like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Tosses oh. to first, and that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's going to be Julio Rodriguez. The pitch. Strike one. Oh, and one. Ball and one. ball one. Here's a one one. Ball two. Straighten him up a little bit. Out to center. Hunter has it sized up. Makes the catch. One up, one down. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Swing and a miss as no he was ball, late. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. And now the lefty on the ground is short. Fires across He's the out. diamond. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Now batting Robinson Cano. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. That misses. And now it's even one and one. one On the ground, right nope. side. Double. And that's just foul. To the right side. Foul and foul ball. One and two now. Oh. And there's a ball. The idea was two right. Ball. Looking to two locate strike. that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Two, two now. And now the count filled up three and two. Three, two on the way. Well, that ball was hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that, that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. In time He's to Gehrig, that ends the inning. Top of the second, here's a big power threat. Lou Gehrig, obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Edmonds makes the grab, one down. Torrey Hunter, the next to hit. Swing and a miss. All one's the count. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, oh this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. And now it's Frankie Lindor. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Yeah. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, it should be a good outing for him. Short hop liner oh. handled it short. Oh. Throw to first, oh. and that's the third out. 
We head to the bottom of the second, and now here is Jim Edmonds. The left fielder, Jim. The why to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next pitch ball, inside, that's and that's ball one. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Here's the speedy catcher, Kong Kwan Galigalau. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. And that one fouled off. Swing and a pop-up. Garrick takes it in for the out. And that quickly, two away. That is, and next is the designated, the designated hitter, hitter, Joe Brandom. Joe Brandom. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just a weak fly ball this time. Racing makes the catch. And that's the inning. Back here at the ballpark, and stepping in is the speedy Trey Turner. There's a strike. Singy, how about this? Oh, From 2019 through 2022, Trey Turner had a higher slugging percentage than Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and Ronald Acuna. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. On the ground, right side. And he's out, out on the tag. Out. Here's Cattell Marte. Base knock right for you. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Everything came together for him. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through ball. it nice enough and ripped it into ball the outfield. No Henderson in now, takes ball one off the plate. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, the first baseman. Munataka Murakami. Munataka. And the pitch. Murakami. And that one hit to first, and it goes just foul. Murakami, 23 years old, and he was born in Japan. Ripped, but it curls foul. Japan has made a major impact on Major League Baseball over these last few decades. We've seen players completely change the game. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Troy Gloss will hit next. Line drive, two away now. Back to the top of the lineup, next to hit, Julio Rodriguez. And that one just misses, a ball and no strikes. That's to third. The throw to first, and that is that. All set for the start of the Here inning. Now the number Murphy. two hitter, the Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Javier, Jr. back to work. Ball and one, now. no strikes. Late on that ball, fastball. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Ball Next two. offering upstairs. There's a swing and a drive. Gone! A shot to the opposite field. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. And now batting Mike Trout. 
And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The 0-2. Gets to it on to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. Ground ball up the middle. Cano. Over to first. And there's two away. Tory Hunter now at the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. There's a strike. Two down, nobody on. Hard ground ball, base knock. Well, that certainly now feels bad. good when you can two win the at bad after Francisco being down in the count, Lindor. up against it with two strikes right there. You got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0 2 count. Hunter off of first with two away. Tried to go. hold up on the 0-2. Now a look down to third. Did not go. And there's a base hit to left. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Back-to-back -back base hits. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Turner up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus. One ball. Oh, and now a Two wild strikes. pitch. To third, He's not in, in time. Right. He's safe. It's second and third with two gone. Two outs, two in scoring position. Oh, come on. What the fuck is wrong with me? In plenty of time to first, and that is that. Welcome back. Bottom four. Here's Francisco Lindor. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. And it is gone. Francisco Lindor takes him deep. And we're all square. It's 1-1. And now Robinson Cano swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Comes no up ball, empty on the strikes. swing. 0 and 2 now. And a pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Anthony Santander at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. High fly ball out to center field. Hunter has it sized up. Puts the squeeze on it. Two down. Here's the left fielder, Jim Edmonds. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. This one lifted in the air, left field. And Ricky Henderson the grab. And that is that. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Digging in, Jonah Heim. Ripped into right field, base hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And the runner stays where he is. The 1-1. One -one. That, that one missed. Too. Well, this is such a tough offense. That pitcher needs those pitches called for strikes. You don't want to give these hitters any more advantage. They're already bruisers. Lindor pulls that one down, one away. And now, Ricky Henderson. Hit on the ground, might be two. Lindor to second, and that's two.
We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the catcher, Kong Kwan Galigalau. Swing and a miss. Oh, and That's one. strike one. Out to short, Lindor. Whips it to first. And a quick out number one. Call a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Random, oh. the next to hit, takes ball no, one. one and oh. Foul ball there. And a pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Got him swinging. So, digging in, Munitaka Murakami. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Pitch misses, and ball that one, is no ball one. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. He sends it out of here, and that gives him a lead. It's 2-1. Here's the third baseman, Troy Gloss. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That's back there. Gone. He made him pay for that one. And they add a run. It's 3-1. And now the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Hunter has it sized up. He makes the grab. And that is that. <clears throat> Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the power-speed combo. Jazz Chisholm Jr., The right hater back to work. Going one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. No and he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. In the dirt. Up with it. Fires to oh. first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. One. Trout, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Next pitch well, is inside. One ball, one strike. You know, singing in 2022, Trout hit homers in seven straight games, one falling ball. just one Good home strike. run shy of the record, eight in a row by Ken Griffey Jr., Don Mattingly, and Dale Long. That's outside. Next pitch off the play, and it's two and two. Check swing, and that's a ball. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Lou Gehrig. Your attention, please. Now pitching, Gregory. And he swings and misses, oh, and it's nothing in one. And strike two. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Pitch misses, and a count one and two.
goes down swinging for the strike welcome back now up to him francisco lindor back now for the bottom of the sixth and there's a new pitcher on the mound number 78 pretty tight game so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here got to do his best to keep the score right where it is lindor goes five feet 11 inches 29 years old and he was born in puerto rico grounder off the pitcher lindor retire oh. Puerto Rico doesn't just produce no baseball matter, talent, 22. it produces Hall of Second Fame baseman. talent from Roberto Clemente Robinson. to Pudge Rodriguez. God, no. And it's fouled away. <laughs> and the right-hander deals. That one to first. He'll do it himself. Oh. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. And the righty deals. Comes up empty as he chases that oh, one in the dirt. Yeah. Right side. That's and that's foul. just foul. Owen oh, Chu now. Fights it off. He'll see another. The 0 2. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And that one's gone! Anthony Santander knocks one out, and they add to their lead. It's 4-1. Now here is Jim Edmonds, and oh, there's the a strike. Way out front oh, for strike two. Time oh, called. Chance to collect himself down 0-2. Here's the 0-2. Good eye four. right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Tory Hunter. That's in there. Strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. Oh. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. I got one ball, one strike. This one high in the air to left center. And it's caught for the out. At the play, Francisco Lindor, one for two. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Man at second with one away Trey Turner at the plate tapped softly on the ground Lindor and he'll be safe at first anything but pretty right there but he'll take it every time and maybe they've got something going here trying to get back into this one Heim swings through it for strike one and a foul ball runners are at the corners one away Grounded to third. Could be two. Zips it across. It. Now two away as they get a run across. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. He gets the intentional walk here and now will force it any base with two gone. Clearly didn't want to mess with them right there. So I think it makes sense to play the numbers game in this spot. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Henderson goes after that oh, one for strike one. Sorry, I usually do. Next pitch oh, inside. Did. One and one. Turner, the lead runner out at second. Marte on at first with two down. Two Swings and misses. Ladies struck and him out. Bottom of the seventh. And here's the catcher. Kong Kwan Galigalau. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Oh, one's the as count. he was out front that time. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Righty delivers. 
Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. At the belt and fires. To the right side. Marte. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch That's right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Random. Random. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. The 0-2. In the dirt. Heim gets oh. it to first. Two up, two down. Your best now when you let the game come to you. Placement. Try to make too much happen right there. Not his best at bat. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that one oh, for strike two. It's been a solid inning so far in relief. Get them through this inning only down two. Could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself him. to the bag, and that'll do it. We go to the eighth. Now the third base. Then Jazz Chisholm Jr. The wine of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Lifted in the air, right center field. Rodriguez hauls it in, and there's one away. Here's Trout. Now batting. Right here. Mike Trout. Swings through that oh, one. 0 oh, and 1. Now 1 21. and 1. Bounced up the middle. Two up, oh. two down here in the top of the eight. Nine, two outs, bait. This is empty. Four. And next will be Lou. the cleanup hitter, Lou Gehrig. Gehrig. And that's in there for strike one. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Next offering is fouled back. Foul ball still 0-2. I don't know how I don't hit that. Two outs. Swing, and that ball down. smashed on a line. Rodriguez squeezes it. That is the inning. Out of the bottom of the eighth, Leading here's the third the baseman, Dominican. Troy Gloss. The third baseman, Troy Gloss. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. No Not ball. sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. On the ground at first, Garrick steps on the bag. Leadoff man is out here the in the eighth. And eight. now the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Right side. Trout settles under it. And a couple of quick outs. So two down now. And here is Francisco Lindor. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Hunter has it sized up. He's there. He's got it. And the inning is back here at the ballpark.
Clark. Now yeah, the batter now, Tory Hunter. The why to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. All in one. King, a righty that throws with power. He features a sinker, a four seamer, a slurve, a changeup, and he works in a slider. That one 95 to finish him off. Francisco Lindor digs in now. And he grounds one to the right side. Takes it himself. Out. And they're down to their last out. So they're down to their final out. Next to hit, Trey Turner. And a foul ball. Here's your one. Out to short. And that squirts through. And that extends the inning. Runner at first with two away. And here is Jonah Heim. Pitch oh, misses inside. inside. One. One and oh. Turner, the runner at first with two gone. Bounce to the left side. On to first. Out. Ball game. It's all a seven out save in this one it's far from your standard save but he did what was necessary to help his team get the win and see a guy pitch like this it's very inspiring for other guys down in the bullpen and your final 4-2 for chris singleton